Hello, hello everyone, and today is, uh, I think it's part three of my Sketchpad Sketchpad tour video. <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys the rest of my drawings that, I'm, uh, that I have in this book since I've actually, I've actually managed to finish this book, this, uh, this Sketchpad, Sketchpad, uh, I managed to actually finish it, so all the, every page is filled with drawings and stuff. So I'm just going to show you guys the rest of my drawings that I just finished, I guess, today. And the thing is about these like how to draw videos or these sketchbook draw videos is that <clears throat> I could technically do a how to draw video every single day, but I decided not to because the last thing I want to be on YouTube is a content farm, and yeah, <laughs> it kind of wore down the quality of the videos if I upload every single day, even though I technically can, <laughs> you know. Yeah, but I don't want to be like a content farm, just up, keep uploading videos every single day. Especially since, uh, since it was with YouTube and stuff. Uh, trust them on my last channel, they got taken down. Yeah, I don't trust them with the, uh, well, at least with certain drawings. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't draw anything that's like too graphic, but you know. So I'm going to show you guys the drawings that I made so far. Finish this book. Here's Kenji the Wolf relaxing. <laughs> Kenji the Wolf from Warwolf. Yeah, he's just relaxing and stuff, taking a nap, just like uh, Luna did, the other sketch by door video. Here is uh, Daida um, from the Father's Dragon comic. Yeah, the thing is about her is that I, I don't draw her as much. I kind of forgot her name because I, I have so many characters. So I have usually forget her names and stuff. And uh, her name her name was originally Kaida, but I changed the Daida since you know she's a dragon and just starts with a D. So I decided to name her Daida instead, instead of Kaida. Even though Kaida kind of makes more sense, yeah, I don't know why change the name. It's just kind of weird, like that. Yeah, and here's Joshua, the inventor from the Scrap Discovery comics. And the Scarborough Discovery comics are originally called Super Sci-Fi, but since Super Sci-Fi is not really that creative of a name, I decided to rename it to Scarborough Discovery since, you know, they research robots and they had to go on missions to, like, save the, um, the abandoned city. And you guys can check out my Scarborough Discovery comic on uh, DeviantArt if you guys are interested. Or at least check out the Scrapper Discovery, like my old sketchbook tour, my, no, not, not tour videos, my old sketchbook comics here on YouTube. If you, want, if you guys want to see me do read throughs all those comics, it's in my comics playlist if you guys are interested in Scrapper Discovery. Here's a Wyvern, Wyvern Dragons, which are my prepared dragons. Yeah, kind of army of pterosaurs. I guess it's the, the inspiration for, Wyver, for a Wyvern so probably was inspired by pterosaurs because you know, they're kind of like the exact same thing, except pterosaurs are actually real, but Wyverns aren't. Wyvern dragons aren't real, but pterosaurs are actually were. So yeah, I guess the inspiration for them. Here's a robot character that I drew the other day in my inspirations video. A little robot character, cute little robot character, people like and stuff. <laughs> I mean, I did include this character in like a future Scrapper Discovery comic, which I haven't did a read through yet. Maybe I'll do it someday. I'll do like a read through of like the Scrapper Discovery comic that I managed to fill in the sketchbook that I managed to pass over and stuff. And you can check my comics playlist to see if I actually did a read through already of those um, Scrapper Discovery comics, at least all of them. Here is uh, Abby the Bee from Karate Bugs, the Karate Bugs cartoon. Yeah, I mean those those uh, the pilots are getting uh, a lot more views lately, which I kind of didn't expect because I thought I thought those uh, videos would be gone, pretty much have low views forever, but not but it's not the case. I mean, any type of video can just pop up in views, just like uh, for example, my how to draw on a ton sixty four video originally blew up and got tons of views almost every single day. It got it got like two or three views every single day. Fuck a mom now, and now it's, it's not a bunch of views, which I kind of didn't expect. So, yeah, thanks for your views. <laughs> you guys, interesting. Uh, speaking of pterosaurs, here, here is Quetzal, Quetzal's Quetzal Koalas, 
Yeah, it's the fly, it's the it's the it's large flying animal will they ever live. It's a Katabo pterosaur, it's a giant pterosaur. It's, yeah, this was the actual size of it, judging by this figure right here. This actual human right here, and this is the actual size of the actual pterosaur itself. Yeah, it's the largest flying animal will they ever live. <laughs> Even though they're huge, they're they're working out. They're working kind of light on their feet. They have hollow bones just like birds do, and they're managed to glide throughout the air. I mean, they didn't exactly flap their wings, but they didn't actually fly up like birds do. They don't. Uh, my man says they didn't exactly flap their wings like birds do, but they much still soar throughout the air and stuff. Very terrifying, kind of crazy, kind of terrifying. <laughs> yeah, quite so koalas. Kind of a mouthful of a name. <laughs> That's most dinosaur names and stuff. It's not like easy to say like Mosasaur. You know, Mosasaurs, the marine reptiles. That's kind of easier to say, but this pterosaur, Quetzalcoatlus, yeah, it's kind of a mouthful. <laughs> Here's Figgy the Squirrel, a character I like a little bit draw a lot. And she has a very like simple design stuff, you know. <laughs> Here's her attack mode. <laughs> Figgy the Squirrel going on attack. <laughs> Yeah, more pictures of her. I got. I think this is like. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six drawings of Figure the Squirrel. I used to like doing these like compilation drawings of all the character of uh, the same character on one page. It's very cool that way. So like Figure the Squirrel. Very cute character that way. <laughs> Here's like a dragon kid character, like a young dragon character. And I just drew because I was bored. <laughs> Good dragon, dragon kid character. It's kind of like it's kind of like the baby Yoshi from Paper Mario. That's in your door. You know they have baby Yoshis. They have like the younger Yoshis of Paper Mario. Yeah, this kind of like a kind of like that, but the dragon instead of Yoshi. <laughs> the Yoshi kids from like Paper Mario. I remember in Paper Mario, I had the thousand year not thousand year door, the original Paper Mario on my. My Abernack, my game console, my handheld game console. I just picked up Mario, and they used to have a mission. You have to save all the baby Yoshis from the, the adults going crazy and stuff. The baby Yoshis are playing hide and seek and stuff. <laughs> it's kind of funny that way. But it's kind of it's kind of hard to imagine there being like baby Yoshis and like adult Yoshis, because <laughs> you usually see Yoshi as an adult and stuff. I guess they do have different genders depending on what you look at it. I guess Yoshi is kind of. I kind of assume. Uh, when I was a kid, I always thought Yoshi was ambiguous and gendered because you know he laid eggs. You know, because usually female animals usually lay eggs, like like female birds usually lay eggs. Yeah, since she since Yoshi lays eggs, I thought it was like ambiguously gendered for some reason. I don't know why I doubt that, but you know, I guess they do have genders. I guess. There's <laughs> a bull character, cute little bull character with glasses on, and to dig inside the dirt and stuff. <laughs> bull character. Kind of looks like uh, what's that? What's that mall Pokemon? Uh, I know I know Hexadrill's one is his evolution, but I forgot what the first form was. I think it's called. I forgot what it's called again. Yeah, I don't remember the name. But leave in the comments if you remember the mall Pokemon. You know the pre-evolution of um, Hexadrill. Yeah. I guess Hexadrill's more a more memorable Pokemon than this previous evolution and stuff. Here's the mongoose character that I drew, that I did a hard job video on. I like cute mongoose character. Go standing upright and stuff. Mongoose is actually do stand upright, depending on uh, how you look at it. <laughs> kind of like most weasels do. But mongoose are kind of different weasels because they're, they're cat form creatures. Kind of like uh, hyenas and stuff. I guess, uh, I'm not sure if they're the same family, but I guess they count, I'm not sure. I know they're, they're known as cat-like animals. I guess their family is and stuff. <laughs> Here's a drone with eyes, a drone robot character. You know, drone robot. I drew eyes with them to give them a personality and stuff. And maybe I should have drew them with one eye because, you know, drones usually have one camera eyes, but eh, yeah. <laughs> Here's a monster truck that I also did a hollow job video on. Monster truck and stuff. I got bored one day, so I decided to do a hard job video on this truck and stuff. Here's a fairy dragon that I did a hard job video on as well. I guess some of the color from the from the 
the color from the um, from the truck starting to appear on the page and stuff. This is why I usually don't do color pencil drawings. I don't, I don't tend not to color my drawings when I'm uh, operating the sketchbook because if I close the page like this and I close the whole book, the pages smear on the next page like this. See, As you can see pages pieces of the, the um, smudges of the, of the color pencil on the fairy dragon. Yeah, that, that's why I tend not to do any um, that much color pencil drawings because there's a smudge all over the place. And probably markers are probably much worse, so I'm not sure about that. <laughs> and here's the last page, which is Brutus the Beetle from Karate Bugs. Since I did a page for uh, Abby, I decided to do one for Brutus. You know, a, a rhinoceros beetle character. <laughs> but rhinoceros beetles are probably the coolest bugs ever. Because usually bugs are usually so associated with being creepy, like, you know, like roaches and stuff. And spread diseases like flies do. And they're annoying like mosquitoes. But rhinoceros beetles are kind of cool. To me, yeah, they're not as creepy as the way say a roach or spreading diseases like mosquitoes and flies do. Yeah, I put them in the cool ends. I put most of the most of the bugs, the karate bugs, are the cool insects. Maybe in a future project of karate bugs, I, I might include roaches a lot, like an antagonist. I include roaches or flies like an antagonist for uh for like a for karate bugs soon in the near future. <laughs> yep, and. Uh, and that's how I finished my uh my sketch pad. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, but I like, gotta see more, and that's it.